What's up everybody? I just got back from Costco. We picked up a bunch of things that are typically always on our list. These are our go-tos for being a gluten-free, celiac safe family. So if you are gluten-free, especially if you have celiac disease, you came to the right place. Let's dive right in and see what we got. All right, so first things first, blueberries. We get lots of berries. We're using these um, a lot in yogurt, just as a snack for the kids. If your kids, your family loves fruit, this is the place to get it at a good price. Especially if you're shopping for organic fruit. These strawberries are the best price that we've found, I think, anywhere. Um, mandarins, we got three bags of these because our kids blow through them. And shoot, I like to even grab one every once in a while. It's like a sweet little snack through the day myself. Um, if I'm craving something sugary, if I eat one of those, it does the job. Bananas, we got always a big box of bananas. We have two here right now, but uh, we have just usually get the whole case because we're making smoothies with them. Our kids have been throwing them, like unwrapping them, throwing them in the freezer, and they are like obsessed with it. They love having a frozen banana, and so it's like, okay, cool. You know, if you're gonna eat up the bananas and then they aren't going bad, you know, as quickly because they're frozen, then go for it. Another snack thing, uh, produce, big bag of organic carrots. Um, again, probably the best price you're gonna find for organic carrots. A three pack of organic cucumbers, easy for snacks and lunch. Um, cucumber sandwiches, just cucumbers as a little side. Organic celery sticks, we love to do peanut butter with these or cream cheese with hemp hearts. Another easy lunch or snack that our kids really enjoy. These are Danielle's JoJo's. They are organic, they're like a dark chocolate peanut butter filled bar. They're like dark chocolate and unsweetened peanut butter, but it just hits that, it hits that sweet craving without being too much and without feeling like I'm like, you know, just eating garbage. Yeah. Like I'll eat maybe half of one and that's enough for me, not because it's too sweet, because it's weird. <laughs> Just kidding. Yes. Um, like here's your or ingredients for it is organic dark chocolate and organic peanuts, organic hemp protein, organic palm oil and sea salt. So not perfect, but the amount of ingredients are very minimal. Orange juice, Kirkland's, let's go Kirkland's organic orange juice. Danielle in the last video said, not my favorite, and I was like, what? That's like actually my favorite orange juice. Um, even above, even above. I bought some from Whole Foods, Whole just Foods, so yeah. that we specifically, because I was like, you know what, I'm gonna have him still pick it up at Costco, and we're gonna taste test the two. Whatever, But dude. it might just be preference. I just like it, I think it's I mean, good. It's not remember. like bitter, like it. it's not, it's like it's a good, good sweetness. It's not mouth good. I don't know. I like it. I enjoy it. Next, organic vanilla yogurt. This is our favorite. I love, it's Greek vanilla yogurt. Um, we bought six of these this time. If that doesn't tell you how much we like it, it was two. Then it bumped up to four. Now we made it all the way up to six. Um, and then this is just reg a plain organic Greek yogurt. This is a Kirkland's brand. We use this kind of like sour cream, honestly, for the kids and whatnot. <laughs> Moving right along. We got three of these, they're broccoli, organic broccoli, florets, florets, florets? Florets. How do you say it, floret? Do you pronounce it floret or a floret? Because I say a floret. I don't know if anybody says floret. Am I the only one who says floret? I just like things that sound fancier than they really are probably. The broccoli, we're using that for, um, we make a really super simple, if you want the recipe let me know. It's an instant pot. Broccoli cheddar soup, it's so easy and it's so good. It takes like maybe 30 minutes to make and everyone loves it, except for Elena. She's not a big broccoli fan, but she still eats it. And I appreciate that about her. Um, we also make just like, you know, like a stir fry, whatever. So we get a few of those. Um, avocados, I don't eat avocados. Danielle and the rest of the kids do. They make, um, she makes a really yummy guac with it too. So she's famous for her guac. These are on sale. We've been making our own tortillas, corn tortillas, but these are the Siete almond flour uh, tortillas. We can do a number of things with these. One, um, you can make a simple like wrap lunch because they don't have like a corn taste, they have an almond taste. They're very, like a great neutral tasting. That's what I was trying to say. They are great neutral bland. tasting, not bland, but yeah, they don't really have a lot of flavor to them. Flavor. Um, which uh, makes it easy to do a lot with them because you can start with the face with them. 
You can make even like a peanut butter and jelly wrap with it. We do that. Um, or bananas with peanut butter wrap. Or just, you know, like a, like a, like a lettuce and cucumber type mm -hmm. deal for the kids. Here, tell and everybody. sandwich meat if you got that. Tell everyone what this is. Or tacos. This is, I feel sick. Okay. A fruit strip? Is what? it a good fruit strip or a bad one? Good one. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. How many will you eat? These two right here. <laughs> yeah. You like the yellow ones? Mm -hmm. Pure organic had a lot of fruit them. strips. The kids love them. What are you? First, can you tell them what this is? This is applesauce. Is it your favorite applesauce? Uh -huh. Wonderful. What is this? It's a but I can tell it. You don't know what that is? <laughs> and I that. Tell him this is the best price for some organic pasta sauce. That is in the price for, for the pasta sauce. Yeah, unless you want really watered down stuff, they sell it. Like Walmart has an organic pasta sauce, but it's like very watery. Water is the first ingredient. So this is mouth. good, good. It's mayonnaise, apple. Somebody bought it and somebody buy it. Somebody bought it and you put it on okay, burgers, burgers, sandwiches, make chicken salad, uh -huh. egg, salad. egg salad, and this last one. Well, me and after this, is somebody buy it. And what do you do with it? We can cut it in half and eat it while me and in the pool. In the pool, nice. And then, what do you do with the seeds? You plant them in the garden, then what happens? In our garden, what happened with the watermelon seed? It's coming out. And you're making a new watermelon. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Israel. That was a great commentary on those raspberries, organic raspberries. Um, I love these pickles. The grillos or grillos. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be, a, if it's supposed to be like a Spanish brand or not. But I say it, grillos. Grillos, they're probably just grillos. <laughs> His legs. Anyways, these pickles, so good. They're my favorite. They really are. I love them so much. Decent. Oh yeah, it's like these you can see or, all they're the. They're not organic. They're not organic, but, but you can see literally all the stuff in there. Cucumbers, brine, water, distilled white vinegar and salt. That's the brine. Garlic, dill, and grape leaves. And they're literally. That's show all me that the thing. It. It's literally floating in there. Yeah. There's no. You can see the. Oh, the grape leaves and stuff. The grape leaves, you can garlic. see the word garlic in there. You can see the dill in there. So there's no food dyes, there's no like uh, preservatives, there's no anything like that. No nothing. So we like those a lot. $10 for this block of Belgioli, Belgioioso, Belgioioso Parmesan. Is that how you say it? Seems like that's how you say it, isn't it? I don't know, I it's, it's definitely not how you say it, but... Belgios! No, but... <laughs> Belgios! Anyways, um, way cheaper to buy a block like this and shred it yourself. Buy it for um, a lot, basically pizza. That's basically what no, we use it for. I put it in a... Pasta sometimes. La lasagna? On top of spaghetti, on top of spaghetti all covered with cheese. Be a Belgioioso. Belgioioso. I got You got pickles, yeah, bro. All right, um, butter. Yes, we have a cow. No, we don't make the butter. You know why? Because we don't. Because we've got too many things. But this is the grass-fed Kirkland's butter, and we love it. It's just so good, and it's a really great price for a grass-fed butter. And then we have, and then we have our favorite crackers, Simple Mills almond flour crackers, certified gluten-free. That's a staple. Also, it is a staple. We do these like every day. We're eating these, and they also the ingredient list is super simple. Get those; they're good. Organic chicken sausage. This is also something super simple. It's because it's already fully cooked. They're frozen. You throw them in a pan. Have them with some eggs. Have them with some sauce. Um, some sausage. Have some sausage with your other sausage. That's acceptable in this house. And then we have the 100% grass-fed beef patties. They're third-pound beef patties. There's how many in here? 15. I know. Um, not a bad price. 
for beef patties that are grass fed. I think it's like 26 bucks. And then they have not grass fed ones that are the same price, but I think there's like 20 something patties in it. You pick what you want, okay? That's what we pick. You can pick whatever you want. These are really good. Organic Amy Lou caramelized onion and aged white cheddar chicken burgers. Guys, I was like, these are weird. I'm not gonna like these. I chicken burgers, Danielle got them one time. They're very delicious. They make a simple meal as well because they're already pre-cooked as well. You just throw them on the grill or whatever you want. Um, so you can obviously eat them as a burger, but we also will just make some rice, throw them on top of that. Um, the kids might add avocado, whatever they want on top. We did a balsamic glaze on top with the yeah, mozzarella cheese. That with rice, mozzarella cheese, balsamic glaze. I mean, you can do whatever you want. It would probably make a really good salad chicken too. If you wanted to even just cut it up and throw it on a salad, that would be a simple, super simple, easy way to make a salad. That's a protein as well. Because that balsamic glaze tasted like a vinaigrette, balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Would have been delicious. I bought three of these because they were on sale. The Once Upon a Farms cold pressed pouches. We give these to Cohen, sometimes Israel, but mostly Cohen. They're organic and they're full of good fruits and vegetables. Uh, two of these bags of organic tortilla chips. Um, we've said it many times, they're certified gluten-free. They're our staples, favorite in this house, especially with the Jack's salsa. They have that at Costco as well. I didn't buy any this time because we have some from the last time still, but that's like my favorite combination. If I need a snack midday, that's what I'm doing. Organic spring mix salad. We buy this because we love to let it sit in our fridge for about a week and then get slimy. And then we're like, hey, we need to use that lettuce and then it's already bad. So then we kind of try to pick through it and <laughs> just half kidding. I think about 50% of the time we actually get to use this. So um, organic spring mix, easy to use. All right, I bought these the last couple times. They were on sale. Hum kombucha, it's organic, it's blackberry, tastes really good. It was like $4 or something. Hey! He just said you could go to your room and take a nap by yourself. I'd love to do that. That is the sweetest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> but we got cantaloupe as well. Boom. And that's all. That's all. Um, Danielle bought cake because we don't have any and they were on sale. So we, yeah, we never have any. We always have it and then have our children find ways to use it. Cool. Uh, last thing I'll say about Costco is their prices are already pretty good, but then they have sales if you're looking and you're, you know, just seeing what they got. There will be deals that pop up and you're like, oh my goodness, like for example, these Once Upon a Farm things, they're $4 off, so I bought three of them. So I'm like, my goodness, that's a great deal. They're already a decent price, um, but then $4 off of that, like, that's a steal. Let me know what you guys are most inspired by. We're most inspired by. Let me know if there's any meals that you need a recipe for, because we'll give it to you. And let me know what we didn't get at Costco that's gluten-free that we missed out on and we need to start getting because we're up to trying new stuff. And if you want to see Israel do more super cute Costco hauls because that was the most precious. So precious. Anyways, we'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.